Okay, Taylor. So now we're going to do the um, box at the top, or, you know, the silver box here. So basically, you want to lay in the values, and we're going to use indigo blue, cerulean blue, uh, brown, uh, or dark brown, and light brown, or sienna brown, and white. I'm assuming that you have some of those colors. I, I don't know if you would have silver or not, so I figured I'd show you how to do this with um, colors I, I thought you would have. So in the areas that are a little bit more of a medium value, I'm going to shade with my my um, cerulean blue. I don't really want to go into any of the areas that are white with the blue because one of the things that makes an object look reflective is that it has very strong shadows next to very bright reflections or highlights. So I don't want to lose that. All right. Okay, so after I do that, I'm actually going to mix in some of my Sienna Brown, and I should get to get I should, you should start to get kind of a gray value. It's going to feel brown or blue, depending on which one is more dominant. We're just going to go back and forth until we make it neutral enough that it starts to read as more of a gray. I'm going to lean towards it being more heavily um, near the, the air on the side of the blue because I just think silver has a cooler tone to it. So I'm going to put a little bit more of the cerulean in this than I am the brown. Where I see the really dark um, shadows or reflections or whatever they are, I'm going to use my indigo again, and I'm going to go back in with my dark brown, and you should see how this is starting to make it look a little more reflective. Now I'm going to take my white and I'm going to blend on top. And I'm actually going to take my white and I'm going to kind of lightly go over and use that to mix my blue and brown together to get that more silvery look. And I think that's starting to read as silver. You can see that when it's surrounded by the other colors, it really looks more silver. Uh, right now, it's only surrounded by white paper, so it's reading more blue. But once it's put with the gold and the purples and the yellows, you're eye is naturally going to see the uh, silver in it. Okay, so that's the cerulean blue, the indigo brown, and the indigo blue, and the dark brown, and of course white. Okay.